Sagittarius is this is your April 15th to April 30th mid-month reading. If it resonates, consider a personal reading. My rates and info are below. Send me an email. We can make that happen. Uh, also, keep in mind, I'm on Instant Go. If you need a quick answer to a quick question, preferably one question, okay? Um, what else? What else? What else? Check my facts below for commonly asked questions. Before you post, it might be answered down below. And then finally, guys, make sure you check out my playlist. All of my Sun Moon readings are up. And then I'm working on compatibility readings right now, and I'm doing them in the order of you, um, signs that gave me the most views of all time, okay? So I think, well, just go check them out. You'll see which ones I'm done and which ones I'm working on, okay? And that's compatibility for who you're in a relationship with or a potential relationship. All right. So let's see what's going on with you guys. Holy Spirit, angels, divine guides, universe, can you please arrive your truth? Or past energies. What are the past energies that Sagittarius came out of prior to April 15th? Can you please show us previous energies you passed out of? The previous energies, we have the Ten of Swords in reverse. Can you please show me what Sagittarius is can expect? From the 15th to the 30th, we have the Six of Swords in the upright. And then finally, moving into May, we have the Eight of Wands. Huh. All right, and I'll be pulling clarifiers on this. So let me move these over. I always forget the camera angle. So you guys, you have the Ten of Swords in reverse. So prior to April 15th, you guys are really starting to work on a new start, um, recovering from an ending that you had, a painful ending that you had. Um, and this is a general reading, so this can apply to relationships, friendships, career, family, what have you, okay? So it was an ending, it had some pain associated with it, but you guys are working on, you've accepted this, so you're working on um, forgiveness, you're working on recovery, you're working on healing, you're actually getting over the betrayal, pulling the knives out of your back, so to speak, because you do want to move on from this, okay? You're also, you continue to work on it from the 15th to 30th because we have the Six of Swords in the upright. Um, so some of you are moving on from whatever this is. You're continuing to heal. Um, you're, you're leaving it behind you. Some of you might actually be re relocating, moving, might be traveling to kind of get away from what you need to get away from. And with the Six of Swords, it's a very necessary transition for you guys to do. You, you guys just are continuing to move forward without even looking back, putting all your stuff in the boat, gathering all your swords up in the boat, Looking forward to, the, I mean, looking, yeah, forward to the other shore and kind of leaving whatever was bothering you behind you. So really getting some clean energy in there, cutting some cords. Um, so here we move into April into May. Um, things are going to become very active for you. The Eight of Wands is about a lot of communication coming at you. Um, it's, it's a very quick moving, very speedy, a lot of action. Maybe quick changes are starting to happen in May. Maybe a lot of news arrives. You get a lot of emails. There's a lot of communication going on, a lot of texting. Um, so again, that can apply to anything. Um, but these two cards here also indicate travel. So some of you might be traveling, might be wanting to travel. Um, this is a, for some people, this can be a little bit of a hectic time because it's a little bit of an information overload or things are moving a little too quickly or you're just being like hammered with things and you're having a really hard time kind of navigating through them. Um, but whatever it is, it's quick. And I feel like this entire spread is all about forward motion to me. So let me pull clarifiers. Can you please provide clarification on Ten of Swords or Reverse for Sagittarius? Why is the Ten of Swords here? In Reverse for Sagittarius, who is this person? Who is this energy? Additional messages. Ten of Swords or Reverse for Sagittarius, please. Okay, so the three of wands and, and, and the hanged man. Okay, so I feel like whatever this situation was, it was really kind of limiting you in terms of where you could go. Um, had a lot of delays. It's about because the three of wands is about delays, setbacks, things kind of falling apart. So, you know, things are falling apart, and I feel like they were kind of limiting you in regards to where you could go and what you were doing. And this is why this kind of had to end. Um, the hangman in reverse was just kind of hanging around, wondering if things are going to change. Um, 
but I think what you guys did is you, you, you took the time to hang around in this thing for as long as you did, and then you just kind of realized while you were hanging around that maybe things aren't going to change. Um, you started getting a unique perspective in regards to what you have to do and how you have to go about it. You got wisdom in regards to, okay, I, I need to move on from this because it's not really doing very much for me. And another reason why this situation had to end is because it was a imbalance. Um, somebody was being taken advantage of. Somebody was giving more than they should. Um, so somebody was giving too much and then somebody was taking too much. Someone was being taken advantage of. Um, you know, it, it's that kind of imbalance. So that's pretty much why it had to end. And I feel like the Ten of Swords here is you kind of coming to terms why this thing had to end. And, and it's helping with you kind of you know, recovering from this and moving on from this and having forgiveness for the other person or the situation or yourself, okay? So let's see what's going on with the Six of Swords. Can you please write a on the Six of Swords? Who is this person? What is this energy? Why is the Six of Swords here? The strong messages, please, person and personality. Okay, so Four of Swords are reversed. Well, the Pentacles in reverse. The Queen of Pentacles in reverse. Kind of getting that in, from the 15th to the 30th, you want to move on from a situation, but somebody's kind of not letting you do so. So that's why you're kind of getting out of dodge. You're kind of forcing them into like a timeout. You're kind of forcing them to realize that you've moved on. I don't. I don't feel like the other person or whoever this this is necessarily wants to move on. Queen of Pentacles, it kind of leads me to believe they're kind of very dependent on you. Um, the Four of Pentacles in reverse is them holding on to you out of fear of something, out of insecurities. I mean, they're really being like kind of clutching onto you, not wanting to lose you, but not for the right reasons. And with the Four of Swords, I mean, I feel like you guys, you know, feel restless in regard. You're burnt out because of the situation. So you've tried other things with this person and you've realized the only way to kind of like get the message clearly across to them is just to take yourself out of the situation um, and move on to something else and don't even make yourself an option is what I feel like. All right. That's what I got. Okay. Can we please a clarification on the Eight of Wands? Why is Eight of Wands here? Who is this person? What is this energy? What additional messages do you have in regards to this Eight of Wands? My data ones here for Sagittarius as they move into May 2018. Additional messages, please, for some personality. Yeah. The King of Pentacles in reverse. The High Priestess in reverse. All right, this is interesting to me because I feel like going into May, wherever the sending was and you moved on from, and you're telling yourself, I'm going to fully move on to send a message to this person, and they continue to kind of like want to jump in your boat and go with you, you know, you're so you're like, okay, well, then I'll take myself out of the game so that the message is clear. I feel like going into May, you start picking up conversation with this person. Now, that being said, with the High Priestess here, you're going against your intuition. You don't necessarily think it's the right thing to be talking to this person, um, but you're just having blocked intuition, like your intuition is blocked, your insight is clouded, you're not very clear about this, um, but I get the feeling with this eight of wands, they keep on hammering you, okay, so I feel like you do kind of give in at some point and provide like some kind of conversation with them, start communicating to them again, um, and with the king of pentacles in reverse, again, I feel like it's them, you know, being, not wanting to let go, they're, they could be possessive, or they could be jealous, or, you know, it's something in regards to, like, I almost feel like they're holding on to you, not spiritually, not out of love, but almost like you're an object that they can't live without, and they can't, like, see that, um, and again, it doesn't have to be a romantic thing, that, that can span a lot of different types of relationships, I could even see it in business, or a colleague or something like that. But here's the thing, you with the Queen of Wands, here you come and you assert yourself with this person. And you you also get a little, um, trying to say a little, I want to say feisty, 
a little more assertive in your message this time. Okay, so with the Queen of Wands, you're telling this person, look, you know, I went against my intuition and I decided to talk to you a little bit, you know, because you kind of like were insistent I do so. So I threw you, I threw you a bone and now here we go again. And I feel like with the Queen of Wands, you're kind of telling them this isn't going to happen. This isn't the road we're going down. I feel like you guys are really asserting boundaries with them and you're stepping into your power and you're making it clear to them. You're being very, you're, you're very masterful over this situation. You're very self-assured and you're telling them, look, you know, just because we're talking, that's not going to change how I feel. That's not going to change how I think, you know, I'm still going to proceed, but you know, you know, you were so insistent to kind of talk to me. I kind of opened up that door. I went against my judgment and now, you know, let me reassert these boundaries for you and let you know what I'm going to put up with and what I'm not going to put up with. Okay. So I feel like that's kind of going on. So it's great. I mean, you guys going forward, but I think, you know, you left the door a little bit open. This person came in, you kind of have that conversation or whatever, and then you just kind of need to reassert your boundaries with this person, whoever they are. Okay. All right, well, Sagittarius, definitely keep in mind if this reading resonates with you, consider a personal reading, shoot me an email, we can make that happen. For a quick answer to a quick question, I'm on Instant Go. And then finally, go check out my playlist. My Sun Moon readings are all uploaded, and I'm currently working on compatibility readings, okay? So good luck to you guys. I will see you in May for your love readings. Adios from Veronica Garnett. Bye, Sagittarius.